Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Smash here with another Watcher of Realms video. It is, I don't know, my watch has a message on it instead of the time. 1613 Sunday, January the 14th. And I am back on my friend Sam's account. I'm helping him with some more progression overall. Yesterday, we got him a massive boost in guild boss more than twenty thousand additional blood damage on nightmare 4 go check that video out i'll link it in the pinned comment below if you're interested today we're working on artifact material raid he has been stuck on whoops wrong button he has been stuck on stage 18 so we're going to see if we can get that done um with the big jump that we got on guild boss yesterday i'm pretty confident we can do it uh, I'm not sure what he's currently running, so let's see here. Okay, Ain't bad. The hardest thing about Artifact Material Raid 18 when you're clearing it for the first time is there's only one uh, raise platform tile, so you can only have one healer or mage or marksman or whatever, and you really need it to be a healer because you have to have someone tanking the boss. So let's see who we'll put there. Right now he's got Twin Fiend on there. I'm sure that's for a nuke there. Let's, how many? Yeah, three big tanks. Who do we have here? I just want to test out a run, see how close we are, and then we'll go from there with actual moving stuff around. Let's uh let's see who we have for fighters. Okay. Cerberus, Yapsin. Cerberus could be useful. Um tanks, Olag. Okay. All right. Well let's use the champs that he's got here and we will see using Vortex as a healer. Who else do you have? Who else do you have? You have Elowen? Must need the extended range from Vortex. Let's try. Let's try Elowen for the rage, and then we might need to adjust. So first thing, we're gonna get someone down. Let's get a tank down. Let's get. Let's see if we can get Twin Fiend to ult before we need to put Elowen down. Slow it down. Zilla to ult. Broke here's passive is about to take effect. We got a good ult there. Let's get you off. Let's get Elowen back on. Let's start getting some heals. There we go. And then we will. Let's get Volca on the map so that we can start getting additional heals. Well, I don't know if she'll survive this big attack. So let's let's check this first. Maybe that's why. Boom. Zillatu didn't even survive it. Okay, so maybe that's why he has Vortex to survive that. Yeah. All right. Let's let's put that. Let's put Vortex. That way we can use his shields. We'll try some easy fixes first before we start doing more complicated stuff. Eight. Fight. Ellen. Vortex. Let's try you. Let's. Swap Torador and Hars for that bonus. Does Cyrus give the same 25% to everyone that Venoma does? No, that's how they're different. Faction high skill costs. There we go. Okay. Let's try it. 
I need Zillatu to be able to survive that. So let's get our here. Start building that bolt. I want Zilla to down here so that she can hit the boss and she'll be able to tank that lane. Let's get you out of there. Let's get you up here. He won't even be able to ult before the boss does that big slam. Hmm. I might just have to wait and put Zilla to later. Oh, good. She survived that time. Perfect. Let's keep her alive. Let's get Volca to start getting some heals. I need someone on that right side. No, he's going down pretty quick. As long as I can survive those big slams, and now I can use Vortex's ult, so that should help save me quite a bit. Let's get more damage here. There we go. Vortex slam. We got Wrath. This is looking pretty good. Let's get Torador. I'll block that lane. Get some more damage. Come on, Torador, stay alive. What am I paying you for? Oh man, really? We got Zilla two there at the end. That's all right. That's all right. This is close. This is close. I will give you that. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna beat it this time, but if I make Torador a little tankier and I make Abomination a little stronger so that they can hold those two bottom lanes, I think that'll do it. So let's go do that. Everyone else was staying alive. Uh, I'm gonna put better DPS here on Wrath also since he's attacking the boss. So this is really, really quick and easy. So Wrath and Volca, I want them doing DPS, right? They're not traditional like, um, let's get, Wrath as the first alternate DPS here. We'll swap you with Cetrum. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. No, let's do, where's Hex? Hex should have better DPS gear. Oh, you moved it. You moved it onto someone else. I wonder who you put it on. We'll figure that out, don't worry. Yeah, that's better for Wrath. And then, oh, it looks like you put it on Boreas. So let's put that on Volca. Swap. Boreas. There we go. And then let's swap her, actually, so that Wrath gets the this gear. Let's grab her attack. She's at 13k. Let's see where Wrath is at. Because we don't want his attack to dip too low. Otherwise, he'll be doing, yeah, and he'll definitely do less, right? Uh, he's at 14 right now. Down to, yeah, 13. That's good enough. That's good enough. That way, he gets that set that'll make him stronger. And then we want Torador to be tankier. So right now he's built for damage. Okay. I like it. Crit damage, attack bonus, attack bonus.
Hmm. Let's swap you with Abomination, less HP, more attack, more crit damage. Yeah, only Abomination will have more HP. So it's pretty quick here. Let's do. Cyrus has pretty decent gear there. Let's go. Okay. I think those might actually be good enough. Because that was close. That was close, realistically. And the other part of it, yeah. All right, so let's get you up here. Let's get Procure down as my tank. Let's get Zilla 2 down so that I can go. Let's go through the ult. Get Zilla 2, run away. Get heals. Let's see if she survives this again. She just got lucky. Oh, there we go. Got a heal there at that last second. Okay, so that's what it was. So let's get you down for damage. Uh, no, I needed the right side. Embarrassing. Okay, so this is part of the whole process, right? Remembering the timing of all the monsters and everything. So let's get you down. Brook here. So part of beating something for the first time is kind of working up to a certain point and then failing, thinking about why you failed, right? Um, and then what single thing you can change about your run that can still get you to that same spot, but also prevent what happened from killing you, right? So that one, I placed Torador on the left side, and I needed someone on the right side, because Zilla 2 is already blocking the left side. Oh, she didn't survive that time. So in order for her to survive... The timing has to be just right. Vortex has to heal in between smashes. But we got to do that so we can get DPS going. The earlier, the better. There we go. And let's put Abomination here. Don't want to heal, but that's all right. Let's figure this out. And then we want some DPS. The quicker I can get DPS on the boss, the quicker we can beat him down. Let's get me up here so that I can use ults effectively. Speed it up just a little bit. Volca, more DPS. We'll get ready for this slam. There we go. Good job, Vortex. He's probably built like a tank. Let's get him there. There we go. Need ults to get this guy down. 
but I think with those changes, we'll probably be pretty good. Torridor down to help support abomination. Oh, someone got through? What happened? Zilla 2 died, of course. Okay, so they are not strong enough to start taking these big guys. I need more DPS. I need to kill him faster. Okay, let's see. Quit. How can I get more DPS? Let's see who he's got. Fight. Okay, I can't use marksmen or mages for this. His leg is a tank. He's not six star though. Oh. Hmm. Not the best options. Yeah, that hurts. This is probably our best bet. Okay, so how can I revise the timing to get that up? Let's get Torador out of here. Well, well, if we need DPS, we should probably be using him. Like he originally had him as a Lord. And then we can see if Vortex is strong enough to keep everyone alive without the Lord bonus, because we have to have the DPS. I can also, let's try this, I can wait to drop Procure until the monster is closer down. That way the lower tiles can attack him. So like, let's wait, there we go. I didn't want to do that yet, I wanted Zilla too. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. So I want I want him lower down like that, so that more I can get more DPS on him. Eighteen. There we go. Let's get our nukes, get you, get our burns off, get our heals, pick up. Mm, his heals are significantly less. We'll see if he can catch that timing just right. Nope, he didn't that time. Timing, it's a big part of this. All right, so let's get there we go. Get him stopped in the middle. Let's get Zilla two down for Twin Fiends ult. Let's get him out. Pop an ult. Get heals up. Let's see if she can survive this time. Nope. Hmm. Let's see here. I might. Let's see how much damage that nuke does. I might swap him for Hars as the Lord. Let's see here. Let's 
it's not much. So maybe I won't use him as a lord after all. I like the extra stats for Zilla too, since she's the main damage dealer, but... Ours was working really well as a lord, and I may just have to keep that. Yeah. Let's flip this. Hmm. Complete. Winfiend's not doing much with that ult. Maybe I won't even use him. Let's put you there. Let's put Harz as the lead. Let's get my Northerner bonus there. And then let's... I'm going to... What gear does Cerberus have? Eighteen. Yeah, I'll just leave that for right now. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can use Cerberus for this. I'll keep Cyrus as a tank. Okay, let's go. So let's put... We'll just throw out Zilla 2 right away so that she can start building for her ult. We'll throw... Let's wait until we have enough for both of them. 17 and 19. Oh, pfft. man, Zilla 2's artifact procced someone there in that spot. One of the little, come on. Oh, well, let's put you up there. Let's do that. Details, man. Slow you down. Let's wait for this big slam. There we go. Ooh, oh man, that was, and she didn't have the 15% stance from Twin Fiend, so she didn't survive that. Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. It's close though. It's really close. Okay. We will figure this out together. So we're trying to figure out timing, right? If we, what else can we do here? Let's see if she survives this. I wonder. Placing her will be just enough. Should have put her down below so she had Brooke here's damage mitigation. There we go. There we go. That works. And then let's put Abomination doing damage right there so he can block that lane and do damage when he's not. Let's get Wrath doing damage. I can't because Zilla 2's artifact procced there. That's all right. There we go. Now all four of those slots are doing damage, so that's much better. Now I still need... Yeah, I need to block that top lane. Hmm. Probably didn't need to use both of those ults, but whatever. Let's go. Let's block them up there. Just give me more time to get the DPS on the boss. Those ones up top are strong. So uh, you really want a way 
to block them if at all possible. And it looks like we're probably going to get it this time. We've got all eight. I don't have a way to reduce this damage. There we go. Got it done. Yeah, we're going to beat it here. There we go. Oh my gosh, did I speak too soon? Oh no, we're, we got it. There we go. That was close. I thought we were going to lose there at the last second. All right. Well, we got artifact material rate 18 done. Um, now we can set up an auto fight that will be way easier. So, man. Uh, I'm not going to do that for him. He can do that himself. But uh, there we go. So I know that was probably a little bit on the boring side, right? But I, I'm going to put it up anyways. Part of the the fun of this game is kind of is figuring out those problems, working through them. So um, seeing where you failed and how you can combat that the next time. So I hope you got something out of it if you enjoyed uh, being a part of that problem-solving experience. Uh, if you did, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about it. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.